Welcome back to the Freak Show, ladies and gentlemen. Odasto, Bumpy McSquiggums. No, it's not, that's not how it is. It's Odasto, the Colonel, uh, with Medusa's head, apparently, uh -huh. which is creepy. Hello. Uh, I'm the Red Prince, Bumpy McSquiggums. We're playing Divinity Original Sin 2. We walked away from the healer's hut. We did some buying and selling off camera. Um, mm -hmm. Some new skills are added. Yep. Especially for Fane. Fane actually is the big winner on this. Uh, Odasto, if you take a look at him, he's no longer the creepy guy that he was. He actually has... He's still creepy. Very creepy. You, you <laughs> have no midsection, man. And, um, yeah, he's got new armor oh, that's and a stuff bug, on. If I don't have a midsection, that's a bug. Well, no, you, you have everything. You just have no midsection. Oh, I just, you have a gap yeah. in your armor where I can see your spine. That, that gap. That gap. <laughs> that's, that's weird. <laughs> it's not the same. It's, it's a well, little weird. Oh, before before we move there, can you would you please follow me? Oh, to the uh, skeleton over here. The skeleton, skeleton, yes. Skeleton. Uh, and there's also a dog that's going around, so he might know something. This uh, I found this stuff when I was going around. So you see the dog? I do. Liz is running right now. She's gonna talk to uh -huh. him. Maybe, maybe. She gone? Oh man, he doesn't like her. Are you following the him? The shaggy dog keeps his distance, wary eyes sizing you up as his hackles rise. You run away. Everyone here run away. All run. All run. Something. Tell the little dog that you're a runaway too. Say that you don't run away from anything. You run towards things. Mm. Yeah. Like sticks. Fools. Understand. Yeah. I understand. <clears throat> I run away from bad man. Okay. Very bad man. Man wanted to make me spider food. Okay. I know. I can sniff good and bad. Riker bad. Okay, Riker's bad. Good to know. Are we didn't we know that? No, I have no idea. Ask I don't like about Riker. Riker. He sounds <laughs> like someone to steer clear of. Bad man, yeah. so bad. I liked his house, big garden of stones, lots and lots of bones to dig. Good, oh, tasty bones. So Riker's the one in the yeah. Oh we, yeah, he that's is why bad. I don't like it. But when I sniffed yeah. him, how he is for true, I ran and ran and ran. Oh, I don't know if I want this, but I'm gonna do it. He pours a few tentative steps closer and sniffs all around you, nose wrinkling with concentration. Uh, especially as Losa seems like the worst possible candidate to sniff yes. whether she's good or bad. <laughs> the smell of runaway inside you. Maybe the runaway not good, but you good. Oh, oh. there you go. Yeah. He bounds forwards and licks your uh -oh. face effusively. His breath oh, stinks of graveyard clay and ancient bones. Immediately, you feel an allergic reaction developing on your cheek. Hot uh, red blotches spreading in an angry rash. Lovely. The dog scurries away to sniff about the area, leaving you with his approval and an itchy face. Oh, okay. I guess that's the price for my uh, well, contracted smallpox. It's not great. At least when I get licked, I don't get no diseases. Yeah, you I mean, probably do. Oh, am I gonna wait? Fortify it cures this. Okay. Yeah, that does. That does. Um, I'm gonna check this unusual skeleton and see what it is. The skeleton is old enough for flies to have eaten its flesh, though some of its owner's clothing still remains intact, including a belt with a gleaming buckle. Uh huh. Oh. So let's examine the belt. The belt may have been gnawed by rodents and reptiles, <laughs> but the name engraved on its buckle is unmistakable Victor. Okay. Hmm. Area okay, around. Let's examine the area. You see no yeah. blood or signs of struggle. The surrounding vegetation is green and healthy. Okay. The bones look properly intact, though its skull is askew, as if the skeleton is looking in a direction it shouldn't be able to. Huh. Oh. Okay. Well. Here's one corpse that never got a proper burial. Well, we can talk to Victor. Do you want to talk to Victor? No, nah, you can. You, you like talking to dead things. You it's can. true that the old miss told me. Victor, she said, you can't cavil forever. It's only a matter of time before your luck runs out. Bless her heart. So he had his neck broken, probably. Yeah, most likely. So uh, what happened? That, how did that, I mean? How did your luck dry up? Ingenious scheme, I thought. Come to think of it, <clears throat> still do. Uh. He chuckles a ghostly chuckle. <laughs> I think I'll take this one to the grave with me. Or wait, <laughs> you know what I mean. Mm. So off. Okay. Well, a little bit of a thing. A little bit of. Where are you going there? Well, we can either go north to Nothing Land and just explore. I thought. Yeah, I thought we, we could go. We go to across the, the bridge to the Paradise Downs yep. area and mm -hmm. get the the teleporter there. Let's see what's across yeah, the bridge. Yeah, let's Lead the way, Master. I shall follow you in your footsteps. Can I? Can things we, and. Can we cross what? this? It looks like we can. No. Maybe. Yeah, we can. 
Oh, you're asking, can we cross this? Yes. I also see, did you see that on the like this fire? Yes. Yeah. What is anything over there? There's a house that fell down there. That does not look safe. Let me see what I can do here. Oh, you're doing things, aren't you? I'm trying to teleport. I can teleport to where the fire is. Let me see. Oh. That thing isn't done. It isn't any My guy's complaining that everything is very dark all of a sudden, and there's the enemies down there. Elder of Mending, level 14, guys. Yeah, let's get one more level under our belts before we do that. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, what? Oh, I got decaying. Huh. Yeah, you can That's fortify what... yourself. Uh, there's apparently a monster in this broken down house over here that we're gonna have to go into. Oh, I can't get to you, I'm gonna need to use the, the pyramid. So, can you, can you help me out with the decay? It's already gone. Wait a minute, did the Magister die? What Magister? What are you talking about? You see Gareth? Where? Oh, you don't. He's digging up graves. Or digging graves in general. Well, I see him now. It's, I was looking at the house. I wasn't looking at other Gareth stuff. Gareth yeah. toils in monotony. He ter toils in monotony here. Nods to the mounds of dirt. What's going on? Gareth freezes, then turns slowly towards you. Does buddy his die? His breaths are steady. His yeah. voice a monotone. Seems so. I'm digging my murdered parents' oh. graves. Oh, I'd ask that was bad. you show your respect. Oh, it's far worse. Yeah. Gareth moves to continue his task, but his cadence falters. He pauses. Silence hangs, begging to be broken. Well, I okay. am sorry. Didn't mean to be insensitive. No, of course you didn't. Huh. God woken. I've seen Seeker's blood seeping into the sand. I waded through corpses on the deck of the Lady Vengeance. He did. But when the lifeless eyes looking back at you are your own mothers, I just didn't know. I didn't know what darkness lied beyond pain. Now, well, now I do. Well, uh, I will comfort you, friend. Gareth shies away from you. His eyes pass over the half-filled graves, and he takes a shuddering breath. Comfort! Even Lucian has none to spare. I've prayed to him. An endless litany. You should have prayed to me. How many tears do I have to shed? How much must I lose for him to listen? He's dead, man. No comfort. Only recompense. Against Dallas's cronies. Against the abomination that carry out their commands. The monks do the dirty work. And the whites keep their robes clean. Convenient. Oh, boy. The monks I, I, that, that yeah. did it, they're still in the house, spreading their rancid smell. <clears throat> Paladins came to clean up the mess. In the name of Lucian, they say, and they seem to believe it. I can get behind this. Let's help the guy. Slaughtering everybody? Yes. Yeah. Gareth forcefully exhales and looks past you to the nearby house. You fear he might snap the shovel's handle in two. Really? Sorry, I'm just looking at his, uh, he's got some skill books here. I think it's all stuff oh. that we have. Yeah, it yep. seems that way. Alright, uh, escape? Yeah, okay. Are you gonna meet with his anger? Do you wanna uh, continue with the supporting thing? Come on. It's time for revenge. Suggest you try a nerve tonic. A tonic. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> no, no, it's just funny. Yeah, I think we should say. Then you understand. Good. His hand moves from his shovel to his sword. Yes! He wipes his forefinger along the blade, opening a bloody gash. That's probably not the smartest He stares way. at the wound, then wipes the blood across his glistening forehead. Uh, it's unsanitary. Go, find out what Craven... Oh, he's not coming with us. Their slaughter. Anyone that stands between you and truth, no matter the flag they fly or creed they follow, make them bleed! Uh, okay. Yes, we shall do this. Burying the past. Make sure you don't he's, dig up those graves. He's... That'll be bad. Oh, yeah. Be good. That would be oh, really nice. They're good. having conversations. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, they're not. They're not. Were they talking before, by the way? Yes, they were. Oh, I didn't hear. There's a lock there. Hi. Who do we want to talk to? Jahad. The two paladins Gareth mentioned are arguing in front of the door to the modest farmstead. I As they hear. notice your arrival, they stop talking and look at you quizzically. We're guarding this house. Wise to stay well back. There's a bunch of silent monks inside who've tasted blood today. 
Already killed in there, so they did. Huh. They didn't kill anybody. The Magisters who controlled them did. You know Donna, she wouldn't hurt a fly. Not until well, they turned her. Uh, yeah. But they did turn her. And now she's not Donna anymore. Get it through your head. The poor creature should be put down. I agree. No, yeah. wait. Surely, maybe, maybe someday they can be fixed. When all this source nonsense is over. Nope. The other paladin rolls his eyes and shakes his head as he turns to face you. In any event, it's our business, not yours. You just stay well away from the door and you'll be perfectly safe. Yep, yeah, I'll take care of it. You can't do that. These, they were oh, awesome. people who were nice. loved. It's not right to butcher them like cattle. They're puppets. They're, Tell them yeah. to think about it. What would you, what would Donna wish for? Yeah. Tell them of the silent monks you met on your travels, putting them down as a merciful act. I think that one. That, yeah. We've learned this lesson a long time ago already. You, you're right. Here, take the key. We'll, we'll leave you to it. I don't want to see Donna like that again. I don't blame you. You'll remember her as she was, Jad. The real her. Jad. His name's Jad. Paladin William nods his thanks to you. And with a last sorrow-filled glance at the house, Paladin Jad turns to follow his companion away. It's not Jahad? Okay. Well, I would assume it's Jahad. Jahad, or Jahad, yeah. or as many ways. All right, so we're burying the past. But, uh, uh, we are. Fine. Okay, you right. open the door. I'm going go to in. unbury the Losa, though. I'll put her unbury the what? I'm putting Losa away so she doesn't get eaten oh, that's, by I'm gonna horrible do that creatures. As well. you oh, you think we're... Um, no, I I have a fame. They're basically the same thing. Not are you, even are we gonna sort fight of. Are we going to fight them out here? I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. This house is all sideways. They're literally just si silent monks, all of them. Oh, I'm... we don't... All right, I'm going to throw some... Uh-oh. Uh You're not going to talk to them? Oh, they Hold don't on, Garrett's coming in. Oh. The corners of Gareth's mouth slant upwards. So, too, do his eyebrows. You need to uh, join the conversation here. I don't need to, but... Well... Like... They still live. <gasps> if you Look cannot me. see them slain, then I will. Uh, yeah. Uh, I couldn't choose. He just talked to me because I was close to him. Tell him. Uh, let's see. Full approval. You wouldn't dream of standing in the way. Uh, it's up to you. You can go with hero if you want. I don't know if it'll work. No, I'm going to fail anyway. Um, I, I think that's just there. Or you can the approval. Yeah. Uh, should we fight without him, though? I don't want him to be here, but uh, he's here, so... Like, it's not like he gave us a chance to kill them immediately. Okay, I'm gonna tell him to stay his blade. We, we can take care of him. Then do it. Yeah. Okay. So, you can start combat. And... Ah. Hmm. Worms take you. What? They're not fighting back. They're not. And I'll put them all down. Yep. And there, there it we is. Go. I mean, these were not trained. Maybe that's what it is. Gareth is a tempest. He yanks open dresser drawers, then slams them shut. He opens books, then violently tosses them to the floor. Don't just stand there. Look. Uh, well, for what? Those, those atrocities don't act on their own. That's oh yeah, we're you know this for. as well as anyone. Someone had to give the order. And they'll have left some sign, some clue telling us who they are. They always do. The Whites are so proud of their cruelty, so satisfied with themselves. Uh, okay, I'll give you a hand, man. Gareth grunts and returns to his frenzied search. Okay, I'm going to search the right side of the house. You go ahead and search the rest. It's a broken loot again. The Origins of Lucian, which I think we've already read. Yeah, I chest. have it on my inventory. Still, I'm going to kind of rob your parents too, buddy. I'm sorry. Sorry? I'm robbing his parents. Oh, yeah. As long as you don't dig them back up, that, that should be okay. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> I'm not sure that I'm not going to do that. I'm just saying. That does. You, you shouldn't do such things. I mean, he would Son against this. father. Hey, Wait there's, a minute. There's there, a book over here. There's a lock thing over here you need to come to. Okay. Jewelry box. Son against father, death in the Elflands, dramatic retelling of the true events. So that's just. That's a book. Okay. I'll go ahead and uh lockbox next to the bed on the right side. Did he just say something? 
Eh, I didn't pay attention. Just complaining about things. Oh, that. How, how do you see these things? Because I have eyes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna open it. It is a ruby. Oh, well, that's something. Um, it's a basket on the ground. Yeah, I found a, a story, but that was not. May, have you looked at the bodies? No, not yet. Oh, there it is. I got a letter. I'm going to send it to you. Do you want to read it? No, you read it. Okay, Ooh. send it to me then. Sorry. Read it from my inventory. Oh, th that, that works? I, I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe. Let's see. No, it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. You didn't do a very good job of looting over here. No, I haven't been there. Oh. Aha, I got a pot. Awesome. All right. Well, I, I hear that's really good. I doubt it. All right, read. All right. Me? Maisie? I've been stationed with the most amazing guy. Jihad is his name. He's just perfect everything I've ever hoped for. We're on a mission now to negotiate with some magisters regarding their views on sorcerers. You know me. It boils my blood to argue for our basic rights with those tyrants. Jihad or Jihad or however we say his name. I had mm -hmm. a long conversation about... Or, and I had a long conversation about it the other night and we're like two peas in a pod with our views. I finally found the perfect person. I'll be sending this letter after our sortie, and we'll write another one if, when, I have more news to share about Jihad. Until then, Donna. Okay, I think that might be what we need. No, you want to talk? Absolutely to him? not what we need. Because I don't see anything else. Oh, I didn't move this. Uh, the paintings. There's paintings. Well, there was one. Eh, fairly expensive one. Uh, we probably could move more things, I suppose. Oh, Maybe. there's a thing you... Apparently your eyes don't see all the things. Was another one of the little baskets I missed? Yeah. I'm, I'm moving some things up here. Apparently I can move this chest. Huh. Interesting. Well, we can ask him if he's found anything, I guess. Tell me you yep. found something. Nope. I did not find something. A worn teddy bear, a toy shield, toy sword. I'm going to actually get uh -huh. all those things and see if I can't give it yeah. to him. Well, if we had a dog or a cat, I suppose we could help. Or we could do something with that, I don't know. Why can't I move mm. this to places? Okay, I'm going to give the Origins of Lucian a try, even though we've seen that already. Mm. No, it doesn't. It's not anything. Hmm. Well, I'm not. This... Oh! What? what? I found something. No, he found something. Tell me you found something. No, he's just. He's just whining. Oh, he's complaining. Okay, I thought my character said something or your character. Have no. you messed with the stove? No. Yeah. Can't do anything. Man, this house is so slanted. It is a little bit. Messed up. How did they break the house so much, though? I don't understand that. Uh, the source is crazy. Yeah, but they were okay. silent monks. They weren't sorcerers. No, they weren't. That's true. Huh. Fishing pole. Yeah, maybe it's not in here. Hmm. I'll go check outside. Fargan Jite. Jonathan's gloves. Ooh, those aren't mine. What is going on? What? Hey, you got something. Past. Yeah, I got Jonathan's gloves. Okay. They were outside. Let me see. Tell me. You uh, bearing the past. Where is this? Oh, there it is. Go talk so to him. we found a pair of gloves. Perhaps they belong to Gareth's parents' killer. Oh, those okay. are really nice gloves. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to him. Hey, Gareth. I know we haven't talked in a while. Where is he? Over there. Hi. How's it going, man? Yeah, those are really Gareth good. is a tempest. He yanks open the dress drawer, then slams them shut. He opens books, then violently tosses them to the floor. Mm -hmm. Don't just stand there. Look. I yeah. I, I we got gloves. White gloves, worn mm -hmm. only by Dallas's elite. Or me. Embroidered initials, J B. These. Uh oh. These are Jonathan's. That was the guy he saved. Remember. Oh, that's a good point. At least I think he was. Pretty sure. Well, it was. that was what. What, indeed. Gareth takes quick, tiny paces, back and forth, back and forth. This, 
This is what trust has brought me. Not peace, not friendship, not the Seven's graces, just death. I trusted in Lucian's mercy, in his protection. Yet all of it lies. Jonathan's lies. Lucian's lies. Oh. Your lies. What, what about uh, mine? I didn't lie. You didn't lie. You had no idea what Jonathan was capable of. You expect anger. Instead, Gareth smiles. Uh -oh. A thin, frightening smile. Did you remember to put... You'll make amends then. You'll see Jonathan oh. dead. Yes. And you'll bring me proof. Sorry, what were you saying? Did you remember to put air holes in the, the barrel that Fane's in? Just kidding. <laughs> He's been in it for a while. Fine. Yeah, he has. Um, yeah, I am going to kill Jonathan in return with evidence. Gareth holds his hands up to his face. Dirt clings to the underside of his nails. Grooves on his palm remain from his agitated digging. The self-inflicted wound on his finger is encrusted with blood. Lovely. Do it, then. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, sounds pretty simple. Uh, do we know where that's at? We have a lot of places to go. Let me see. So the gloves themselves, they're, well, they're nice, but they're not necessarily... Actually, these are, these might be good for Losa. I'm going to send them to her. Um, but they don't say anything. But I did find them sort of this way. Uh, they're definitely better in some regard. Like armor, straight armor. A lot There's better. a dead Manchester over here. I think I found him. Oh. We have to kill him, so... This definitely Manchester didn't, didn't die by a sword anyway. No. Something's afoot here. Something is afoot, says my character. Well, Shoot we me. saw what was afoot. We can see it from here. And uh, I think we're going to need to just sort of... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to go in? Um, hold on. Mm -hmm. Where are we going into? Across that bridge? Across that bridge, Because yeah. I'm looking through the, uh, the fields over here. And okay. I don't know that there's a path unless we leap, so nah. There's right. a Magister Ranger up here. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Did I see a Void Woken too? Oh yeah, there's plenty of those. <laughs> and there's a Naxman around. Where is this? What is this place? I don't know, but I would probably put... the Black Pit. I would probably yeah. put uh, Fane in some sort of thing. Oh, do you want to fight them back here? Because they are fighting Magisters, and I think we want the Magisters alive, at least... To help us out. Well, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to get your fat butt off the bridge. I'm going to see if I can't teleport him over here. Don't act like you don't have space. Also, my butt is everything but fat. The skinniest, boniest butt ever. Oh. Oh. What? And you're not in combat? Oh, yeah. Hi. I well, know. Okay. I can attack him. Let me attack him. Uh, so go with that. Okay, I'm in combat. Let me bring Fane up. Oh, hi, Mr. Bush. Or Miss Bush. Okay. She's okay. in combat now. I don't really. Probably gonna go with the incarnate. You just have the little guy around. Yep, alright, so it's my turn to do some stuff. <laughs> he complains a lot. Yeah, he's ah! not, he's not oh, he's super so, thrilled. He's so jittery. He's oh no, he's really jittery. He's, he's really scary as well. Okay, so I could throw my shield at him. I don't feel like I need to do that though. No, don't do that right now. That's a lot of damage. I'll be doing a lot of damage as well, so... Oh man, and, you do a lot of... Yeah, it looks like I'll be able to get through his physical. Yeah. So I can so, chicken him. Yeah, and you're behind him already. Perfect. Okay. Chicken form. And then rupture tendons for good measure. He's probably gonna blow up poisonous, but I mean that's fine for you. Oh yeah, that's I, I don't know about your I don't know about your little dude though. Oh the little dude doesn't like it. He's already a little bit on the On the not so happy side. Yeah, but don't worry about that. I'm gonna infuse him pretty soon. Okay. Is that... oh, All God, right. these guys are... I think. <laughs> They're so scary and awful. The the Void Woken. Oh, that ranger is almost dead. Holy crap. What, the one that's over there poisoned, diseased, and having yep, a bad time? Yeah. yeah, for a level 13, she's not having good... Oh, gosh, there's Void Touch 4s over there. Oh, this might get really messy. I hope so. 
Oh, nice position for Losa. Oh, I hit the tail, darn it. What? Sorry, I was trying to hit oh, the barrel. Oh, you were uh, trying barrel. to hit the barrel. Yeah, you yeah. can still go for it. No, I don't have any more points now that I put myself okay. up there. But I can do this now. <sighs> I didn't want to hit the creature, and I was just going to make sure I could do that at the end. Okay, so I'm going to go point. with power, unlocks whirlwind, and rush. That's good. Buff your, uh, your boy first. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and there's another can, one, I think, that I... Can you shoot your laser beam all the way across to the... The Venom Void Woken? No, almost. I'm kind of... Yeah, sure. I can't. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I'll, so, I'll, be, I'll be moving now. He's so got some pretty I'm... cool new skills. Once Spain ends his turn, we're going to break out the episode, and then we'll continue in the next. Okay, so go right ahead. All right, so Fane's ended his turn, and that's the end of the episode. We'll see you guys next time with more Divinity Original Sin 2. Till then, he's Colonel RPG. I'm Bumpy McSquiggums. Mm -hmm. We'll see you next mm -hmm. time. Bye.